Minecraft is one of the biggest games in the world, if not the biggest. Minecraft is a game that is so ubiquitous around the world that one could say that it has become a household name. One way to understand its popularity is to look at its gradual progression from being a bare-bones sandbox to becoming a full-fledged franchise. The Minecraft timeline is full of updates, platform ports, and other spin-offs of the original game that all contribute to part of its success. Minecraft was created by Markus Alexia Pettersson, also known as Notch, a Swedish video game programmer. When the beta stage began, Pettersson quit his daytime job to put all of his time and effort into Minecraft. Mojang grew interested in the project and started to fund the development. 2009 In the beginning, Minecraft was known as Cave Game to creator Notch or Markus Pettersson, who ran the indie game company Mojang. In 2009, Notch released the pre-alpha build known as Minecraft Classic to the public, and it was nothing more than a builder with a couple of block types. Eventually, Classic was given a multiplayer mode for players to show off their creations, and more blocks were slowly added to the game, giving players more flexibility. On May 2nd, the official Minecraft forum was open. In October 2009, the skeleton of a survival mode was added to Minecraft to test enemies like spiders and the new blocks like TNT. On December 23rd, Minecraft for Java passed the in-dev development stage, introducing torches and dynamic lighting. 2010 On January 21st, Minecraft can be gifted to non-premium players. In June of 2010, Minecraft finally made it to an alpha build where Redstone and an independent launcher were introduced. The independent browser would supplant the original internet browser version of the game. The first release of Survival Multiplayer, Java Edition Alpha V1.0.15, was on August 4, 2010. 2011 Mojang continued to add objects and a survival multiplayer mode over the year until it brought Minecraft to its beta stage in December. The beta continued to add content well into 2011, which gave the game beds, maps, weather, hunger, experience, generated structures, and a ton of other new things. The final update for beta, known as the Adventure Update, set the groundwork for version 1.0 to add the end, which finally gave Minecraft a boss fight and a way to finish the game. On November 18th, 2011, Minecraft finally moved out of beta and into the 1.0 build. After Minecraft became a solidified game, Mojang immediately moved to begin porting the game to other operating systems and consoles. Mojang began work on the iOS port for Minecraft a day before Minecraft 1.0. Three months later, Android got the same treatment. Once ports had been made for consoles and operating systems of the time, Mojang felt it necessary to port it all to major and minor platforms that would be released in the coming years, including VR support for Minecraft. 2012 16 major updates represent the bulk of Mojang's changes to Minecraft. Version 1.1 was released in early 2012, adding spawn eggs and reintroducing the beach biome. March 2012 saw the release of version 1.2, which added new jungle blocks and iron golems and zombie sieges. Version 1.3 introduced trading with villagers through emeralds and added pyramids and biomes. Version 1.4 was the last update of 2012, and the first named update was called the Pretty Scary Update. Version 1.4 added many things, including the Wither Boss and the Anvil, which repairs enchanted items. What do you like best about Minecraft? Let us know in the comments section below. 2013 The Redstone Update 1.5 was released in March of 2013 and gave one of the most significant changes to Minecraft by giving the Redstone system an overhaul, while also giving players a streamlined system to set up servers using Minecraft Realms. The Horse Update 1.6 came in early July 2013, with mounts like horses and donkeys and a new attribute system for items and enemies. The update that changed the world, 1.7, was released in October 2013 and added a total of 31 biomes to the game and various unique resources to populate those biomes. 2014 The Bountiful Update 1.8 of 2014 added some new blocks, but most notably, it created the spectator mode and more commands for players to create adventure maps more easily. 
On September 15, 2014, Microsoft acquired Mojang and Minecraft for $2.5 billion. The legacy console, Minecraft released for PlayStation Vita, was released on October 14, 2016. The Combat Update 1.9 the first of three updates in 2016 gave the combat system a complete makeover and also added a ton of content to the end. The Frostburn Update 1.10 added new mobs like polar bears and fossils, as well as an auto-jump feature to make scaling inclines easier for players. The Exploration Update 1.11 created new villager professions, new mobs, and biome structures like woodland mansions. 2017 Going forward, major updates to Minecraft were mostly every year, the first being the World of Color update, 1.12, in 2017, which gave the game's color palette more vibrancy by adding more colorful blocks and parrots. On May 11, 2017, the legacy console Minecraft Nintendo Switch Edition was officially released. On September 13, the Minecraft New Nintendo 3DS Edition was officially announced and released. In the same month, Bedrock Minecraft Better Together 1.2 was released and Bedrock Edition was released on Xbox One. On November 10th, the Minecraft New Nintendo 3DS Edition officially got a physical release. 2018 Update Aquatic 1.13 was released in 2018 and its purpose was to populate the water biomes with new flora, fauna, and shipwrecks to make them more than just barren wastelands of sand and squid. On June 21st, the Bedrock Edition was released on Nintendo Switch. 2019 Village and Pillage 1.14 and Buzzy Bees 1.15 were both released in 2019, and between them, they added eight new mobs, including bees, cats, and pillagers, while also creating a ton of new blocks like barrels and smithing tables. The most recent update, the Nether Update 1.16, was released in June of this year. And as the name implies, its purpose was to add a ton of new content to the Nether biome. 2020 In January, Bedrock 1.14.20 was released for all platforms except Switch. In March, Bedrock 1.14.41 was released for PlayStation 4. On May 26, 2020, Minecraft Dungeons was released to the public. In the same month, Minecraft turns 11, and Mojang changes its name from Mojang to Mojang Studios, also refreshing the Minecraft logo. In October, Minecraft's main character Steve was announced for the Nintendo Switch game Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, with Alex, Zombie, and Enderman as alternate costumes. 2021 On January 5, 2021, Mojang announced Minecraft Earth would shut down on June 30, 2021. It also announced that the Caves and Cliffs update would be split into two parts due to the health concerns and a large amount of content in April. In May, the release date of Java and Bedrock, Caves and Cliffs was announced via tweet. 2022 Dungeons 1.12.2.0 was released for consoles only in January. In the same month, Bedrock, the first Bedrock Edition 1.18.30 Beta, Beta 1.18.20.21, was released. Due to the pandemic, more people have spent their time playing games, and Minecraft was one of the top picks. Besides this, Minecraft content also became famous. Dream, a content creator, rose to popularity in 2019 with unique Minecraft videos in series that featured quirky survival challenges and was notorious for his search for PewDiePie's Minecraft seed. Once Dream's videos began attracting a lot of clout, he began to upload videos regularly and quickly showed off his incredible skills at Minecraft to his online audience. The Dream is responsible for making the Minecraft Manhunt series popular among the Minecraft community. In that series, Dream, a Minecraft speedrunner, tries to finish the game by beating the Elder Dragon before his friends, parading as hunters, have a chance to assassinate him. Aside from Dream, famed Mr. Beast gained traction through Minecraft content too. PewDiePie finally made a Minecraft video after his fans asked for one for years and is continuing to make them, as he was a major factor in Minecraft's surge of popularity in 2019. Minecraft is a game people from all over the world enjoy playing. It has become a name that almost everyone knows by now. Visit our channel and watch our other videos if you enjoyed this one.